See this deformed toe bone? Well, during the Middle Ages, men in England decided it would be a good idea to wear pointy shoes, and let's just say it had consequences. These pointy shoes were called Krakow or Poulain. They were pretty trendy starting in the 12th century and went in and out of fashion up until the 15th. They were mostly popular in England and Poland, but also in a few other areas around Europe. Women did wear a pointy style shoe, but the men's were much, much longer. And of course, the rich would wear the more extreme and longer versions to show off their upper class style. The shoes eventually became so long that the tips had to be stuffed with stuffing to keep their shape. And in 1463, the length was limited to two inches thanks to sumptuary laws. So as you can imagine, wearing this type of shoe for so many years caused men to have hallux vulgus, which is otherwise known as a bunion. But not only that, many of the remains that have been found with Halix Valgas also have fractures in their arms. They believe it's most likely from them falling and trying to catch themselves from the difficulty of walking in these shoes. In one of the sites excavated, 43% of the wealthy individuals had this type of deformity. There are Poulains in museums today, many of them in England. The ones they have are almost all made out of leather, but they were also made from velvet and even embroidered with high-end materials. And some of them even had a gold or silver chain that was attached to the tip of the toe and then attached to a bracelet that they would wear below their knee. And here's one version that was created in metal for armor. So see, it's not always women that have to suffer for fashion. Men have to deal with it too. Follow for more.